It's much better. Hi, my name is Joel. Um, I take videos, I take pictures, I'm also a graphic designer and I know some of you guys have been asking what my settings were for my T7i on that day of fall video and I just thought we'd get right into it. So let's get our T7i's. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just turn it on, go to that video setting up there, make sure you're on manual because we always want to be on manual and then on the top right where it says Q, go there go to your picture style which is right there and you guys are probably gonna be all the way at auto um, but I would just turn that to the right and go to one of the user ones then click info and then for the sharpness just turn that all the way down because these cameras don't do a very good job of sharpening uh, post-production will do so much better so just do it in there contrast I would also turn that down and that's just so you have more information in the shadows and the highlights and just so you can do more editing in post and then we want to go down to saturation now for this it's kind of up to you if you don't want to color grade I would just leave it at zero there um, if you do want to color grade bring it all the way down but if you're like me and you only do a tiny bit of color grading I bring it down to like halfway between those two points so that's that now for the video, I also recorded everything on 60 frames a second, and I know some people are gonna kinda hate me for that, but that's how you, I got those slow motion shots and that little dreamy look. So press that Q button again, click this button up there, make sure you're on full HD, so that's FHD, that's gonna be that 1080, 1920 by 1080, 59.94 frames, click that. And then for your shutter speed, you want to double your frame rate. So 60 plus 60 is 120. We don't have 120, so we'll just do 125. Now for your aperture and for your ISO, that's kind of up to the environment and what look you want to go for. So the lower this number is, um, the more blur you'll have in the background. But that's pretty much all I had for that. It wasn't anything special. All right, so one more tip. When you guys are out shooting, make sure you guys have your strap on you at all times. Unless you guys have like a Ronin or any kind of gimbal. Um, keep it around your neck, pull on it, just so you can get that extra st stabilization and smoothness. Um, another thing I do is I have a tripod, so I have a tripod plate, and I kind of keep that on my camera all the time, just so that the camera is a lot heavier and you don't get those little micro jitters. Um, another thing I did was I picked up this little thing from London Drugs, if you guys are from Canada, or I'm not sure if that's worldwide, uh, but you just put that on top of your camera and then that makes it heavier. That's about it. So go shoot, have fun, peace out.